Hello esteemed viewers, welcome to our maths tutorial for today. In our tutorial today, we are going to find a solution to this maths Olympiad question. And we are asked to solve for x if log of x, log of 4x plus 5, divide 6 minus 5x to base 5 is equal to minus 1. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a like, and also subscribe to this channel and also remember to hit the bell icon so that you can often get our uh, all uh, co maths content once they are uploaded. Now let's solve this question. To solve this question, we are going to look at a simplified uh, formula uh, that uh, a, a law in logarithm that says if log of uh, x to the power of a is equal to 10, then we'll have our a to be equal to x to the power of what? Of 10. This x will come and take this as a power, as an exponent. So using this, uh, uh, using this law, we are going to simplify this equation and make that equation to become 4x plus 5 divide 6 minus 5x that will be equal to x to the power of minus 1. So if we simplify this, we are going to have our 4x plus 5 divide 6 minus 5x equal to this having the power of minus 1 will become 1 divide x. So having done that, the next thing we are going to do is to cross multiply. And if we cross multiply, this will give us uh, x multiplying 4x plus 5. And this will be equal to 1, 6 minus 5x multiplying 1. And that will give us 6 minus 5x. So this will give us 4x squared plus 5x this will be equal to 6 minus 5x. So we're going to collect like terms. If we collect like terms, we are going to get the question to become, the equation to become 4x squared plus 5x plus 5x, because this comes over here to give you plus, and this comes over here to give you minus 6 equal to 0. So this will become 4x squared plus 10x minus 6 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Now to simplify that equation, we are going to divide through by 2. If we divide through by 2, this will become 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0. So we're going to solve this equation quadratically. To solve this equation quadratically, we're going to find two values. When we multiply 2 and 3, that will give us minus 6. So we're going to find two values such that when we multiply uh, the bo both values, it will give us minus 6. And when we add them, we'll get plus 5. And those two values is going to be plus 6 and minus 1. So plus 6 times minus 1 will give us minus 6, and plus 6 plus plus 1 will give us plus 5x. So if we do that, we are going to have simplified this to become 2x squared plus 6x uh, minus x minus 3, and that will be equal to 0. So if we simplify this, we'll have 2x common here, and this will give us x plus 3. And this will give us minus uh, 1 common here. This will be x plus 3. And this will be equal to 0. So we have two terms here. The first term is uh, 2x minus 1. And then the common term x plus 3. Both are equal to uh, 0. So 2x minus 1 will be equal to 0, as well as uh, x plus 3 
will be equal to zero. If we simplify this, we're going to have two x equal to uh, one, and then our x will be equal to one divided by two. And then we'll also have our x to be equal to minus three. Now, having gotten these two solutions, because this solution is a negative value, is a non-real uh, real solution, we're going to uh, leave this solution. Then we're going to use this solution to test if our solution is absolutely correct. Having our x to be equal to uh, 1 divided by 2, we're going to test if the value for uh, x equal to 1 and uh, 1 divided by 2 satisfy that logarithm equation. So we have, uh, let's check, we have a log of uh, 4x plus 5 divide uh, 6 minus 5x base x equal to minus 1. So if we put our x to be equal to 1 divided by 2 over here, we should be able to arrive at minus 1. Now let's try that to see if we we'll get a value. If we input that, we are going to have a log of uh, 4 into bracket 1 divided by 2 plus 5 divide 6 minus 5 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 uh, base half. If we simplify that, we're going to have log of base half. This will give us uh, 2 plus 5 divide 6 minus, uh, that will give us uh, 5 divided by 2. So this will uh, be simplified to give us uh, log of base half 7 divided by this. Uh, simplify this denominator, we are going to get uh, 7 divided by 2. So 7 divided by 2, uh, divided by 7 divided by 2 will give us this divided by 7. While this clears this, that whole thing will give us what? Half. So we are going to have, uh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have log of 1 divided by 2, 2 to base half equal to, let's assume the value we are looking for to be m. So if we have that to be m, this will now finally give us, remember our 2 will now be equal to half will come to raise this to the power of what? Or m. So 2 will be equal to uh, 1 divided by 2 to the power of m. And then our 2 will be equal to, that will give us 2 raised to the power of minus what? M. If we simplify that, we are going to see that our final result will be what? This is 2 to the power of uh, 1 uh, equal to 2 to the power of minus M. Since they have same base, uh, the powers or exponent to equate. So we'll have our minus M to be equal to one and then our m will be equal to minus one so if we come to look at that very well we'll see that it definitely gave us this solution minus one so that shows us that this value this value x equal to one satisfy this logarithm what equation Thanks so much for watching. This is exactly what we'll have for you for now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and always hit the bell icon so that you can get an update of our videos once they are published. Do share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.